This is today's reading for the Vermilion Valley Vineyard Audio Devotional Book, Walking with Jesus. The End Times Matthew 24 verses 15 to 36, Jesus said, So, when you see standing in the holy place the abomination that causes desolation. Spoken of through the prophet Daniel, let the reader understand, then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let no one on the housetop go down to take anything out of the house. Let no one in the field go back to get their cloak. How dreadful it will be in those days for pregnant women and nursing mothers. Pray that your flight will not take place in winter or on the Sabbath. For then there will be great distress, unequaled from the beginning of the world until now, and never to be equaled again. If those days had not been cut short, no one would survive, but for the sake of the elect those. Days will be shortened. At that time if anyone says to you, Look, here is the Messiah, or there he is, do not believe it. For false messiahs and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. See, I have told you ahead of time. So, if anyone tells you, there he is, out in the wilderness, do not go out, or, here he is, in the inner rooms, do not believe it. For as lightning that comes from the east is visible even in the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Wherever there is a carcass, there the vultures will gather. Immediately after the distress of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, the stars will fall from the sky, and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. Then will appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then all the peoples of the earth will mourn when they see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven, with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of the heavens to the other. Now learn this lesson from the fig tree, as soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. Even so when you see all these things, you know that it is near, right at the door. Truly I tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. The day and hour unknown. But about that day or hour no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Mark 13 verses 14 to 32. These verses are almost verbatim as those in Matthew 24 above. Luke 21 verses 20 to 33 In Luke 21 verse 20 Jesus said, When you see Jerusalem being surrounded by armies, you will know that its desolation is near. The rest of chapter 21 in Luke is very much like Matthew chapter 24 quoted above. Luke 21 verses 25 to 28 There will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. On the earth, nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring and tossing of the sea. People will faint from terror, apprehensive of what is coming on the world, for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to take place, stand up and lift up your heads, because your redemption is drawing near. When do you think the end times will come? What do you think the end times will be like? Do you think the end times will be in your lifetime? Do you wonder if we are in the end times? Will you survive the end times? The study of the end times is called eschatology. Eschatology is theological expectations of the end of the present age, human history, or the end of the world itself. The end of the world or end times is predicted by several world religions, which teach that negative world events will reach a climax. Prophets and authors have been saying for centuries that the end times are about to happen. I remember in the late 1950s and early 60s reading three books about the beginning of the end and the apocalypse or Armageddon. 2 Timothy 3 verses 1 to 5 but mark this, there will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power. Have nothing to do with these people. Luke 21 verse 36 Be always on the watch 
and pray that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen, and that you may be able to stand before the Son of Man. 2 Peter 3 verse 4 They will say, Where is this coming he promised? Ever since our ancestors died, everything goes on as it has since the beginning of creation. Matthew 24 verses 42 and 44 Therefore keep watch, because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. So, you must be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. Acts 2 verses 37 to 39 When the people heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the other apostles, Brothers, what shall we do? Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and your children and for all who are far off, for all whom the Lord God will call. 2 Peter 3 verses 11 to 13 Since everything will be destroyed in this way, what kind of people ought you to be? You ought to live holy and godly lives as you look forward to the day of God and speed its coming. That day will bring about the destruction of the heavens by fire, and the elements will melt in the heat. But in keeping with his promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth, where righteousness dwells. 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 13 to 18 Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death, so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind, who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again, and so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven, with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so, we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore encourage one another with these words. Repent, live a holy life, and always be prepared for the return of Christ.